right, guys. This is like my last attempt at trying to make this video. My phone is being weird. But anyway, we've got some sugar. I went to Walmart. This is just a small haul. I've got some more stuff on the counter over there. But this is just enough to get us by to go with what I have planned already for the next two weeks. Because we did our big grocery shopping last week. So, to start out with, we've got some sugar. My husband likes sweet tea. So, there's his sugar. I've got this 46 ounces of mayo. It was on sale for like three something. Craft, or not craft. Craft mayonnaise is good. But the great value mayonnaise is really good. And this has zero carbs. All right, now we have two boxes of mac and cheese for their meal sides. And some little bite muffins. This is their treat for in the morning I'm going to make for Sunday breakfast. And then we've got these crescent rolls for mummy dogs, which is hot dogs wrapped in crescent rolls. I'm going to do those next Friday as a little Halloween October treat for them. And I'm just going to eat plain hot dogs probably. For my sides for meals, I've got some cauliflower. I've got a big bag of broccoli for it. I've got them some french fries. They've been wanting some fries. And we are having chicken wings tomorrow. Homemade air fryer wings. And my husband requested fries with his. So, got those. I've got me some, or us, some romaine lettuce. We're going to have like tacos and then um, salsa, verde, shredded ta chicken tacos the other week. I got little man this caramel apple with sprinkles on it as a treat. We've got some ranch season pack for my Mississippi roast that I'm going to be making soon in the crock pot. I've got some of these peeled and sliced, already sliced and portioned apples for um, our son because he chokes on the peels and these are very very good for him to just grab and snack on and easy on me too i've got some of this multicolored cherry tomatoes they're very good we've got them some um flour tortillas for meals some shredded cheese these are keto ish friendly like if you're doing dirty keto and you want excuse my nails i took off my acrylic nails so they look really bad but um, if you're wanting to treat yourself to like a pizza or something good, broil these and put a little bit of um, sugar-free marinara on it. Very good. There's only six net carbs, and this is the macros. I have my um, my light on, so it looks really maybe yeah, y'all can see that. Not bad at all for one one pita, 60 calories six net carbs not bad for a treat then over here we've got my all-time favorite deli meat this is a lot cheaper than buying it sliced at the deli it's the castlewood oven roasted turkey breast and for like three slices it's only one carb so yeah not bad at all and the ingredients are right here not bad at all then here we've got their loaf of bread he likes our little man likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and ham sandwiches for lunch my husband takes his lunches and then we're going to have a sandwich night one week for them and then a staple key staple on keto is eggs so I got 36 eggs then over here excuse my hand I'm blocking everything over here we've got some potatoes i'm gonna make them some potato salad one night some baked potatoes with steak one night so yeah this is something that we have not been buying because i've been keto but i figured they shouldn't suffer if you know i'm trying to do my own thing here so i'm gonna treat them to some potato salad and stuff like that then we got some of these um, kosher sliced dill pickles. They are the thin ones for 
sandwiches, burgers, whatever you want to make with them. Zero, or no, one carb per one ounce, which is like a slice. With that turkey meat that I showed y'all, I really like to use that as like a tortilla wrap. But not tortilla, just turkey wrap. And they make the best sandwiches. And these are what I need for those. Then here we've got some sliced banana pepper rings. Hey, dirty, Hi. dirty mouth. You got Reese cups and got your mouth all dirty. But these are for my Mississippi roast that I'm gonna do in the crock pot. Very good idea. No, sir, don't mess with that. Here is my um, guilty pleasure. Hold on. Don't mess with that. This is my keto guilty pleasure, and a lot of y'all are probably going to criticize me for it because it's not clean at all. But I don't eat a full serving of it when I do have it, and there's only two carbs per one fourth cup, which is way more than I eat with it. I only eat probably about a tablespoon of this, and I eat it with my pork rinds. So I just heat up a little bit of this, pour it over my pork rinds. It tastes like nachos, and it soothes my craving. So, yes, I will take um, we'll take the blame for that being my guilty pleasure. Then here is the last two things I've got. It's these two cans of baked beans. We've got the maple curd cured bacon and original baked beans these two are for my husband and son obviously we're having steak and baked potato one night and they like their baked beans with their steak so that and then we're going to do pork chops one night too so that is my grocery haul i had to get this phone i got a new phone i haven't figured it out yet um like a new new phone not a new phone that I had recorded the video on my last video on, but this one's even newer. So I'm still learning. Y'all to bear with me. If you guys like the video, let me know. And he is playing Stack the Vaini Sausages. Oh, 